Good evening everyone, I'm Zach Perna, and today we're going to be talking about some big stories. Some massive stories, if you will. <laughs> but really, the good news is, is that we're only talking about the good stuff. The bad news is, I'm joined by my co-hosts, Nathan McCallum and Obi Vincent. As always, we'll start by confirming something that's bound to be on everyone's minds. And the answer is yes. Today is Saturday. Now onto our first story. We've all been wondering, but wonder no more. An official study has been conducted to what our pets make of the current situation. As predicted, 98% of dogs said that they were really enjoying the time with their families, with 80% of them stating an increase in walkies. On the other hand, 77% of cats were unaware that anything had changed, with the remaining 34% of them stating they actually wanted to spend less time with their families. We're lucky enough now to have one of the respondents of the study join us today. Bear, thank you for joining us. How are you today? So tell us, Bear, are you one of the 98%? I see, and why is that? Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the language. I can assure you, Bear did not mean any offense. Um, we do not condone that here at the Jim Shark Good News News. And I guess that's what you get for working with animals. <laughs> Thank you, Bear, for joining us, and on to the next story. Next up, we have an interactive segment. Every time I say the word internet, I have to do one burpee. Join me at home if you can. Yes, it's time for the download dailies. This is a segment where we share your daily internet wins. First up, Dave would like to thank his internet for holding out almost his entire yoga class this morning. That deserves a round of applause. Sarah would like to report a fully clear day. Her internet didn't cut out once yesterday, allowing her to complete a whopping seven unnecessary Zoom meetings. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Sarah. And Justin, we've been following YouTuber Matt Does Fitness's internet history, and apparently the results have been deemed too disgusting to even air. Back to you. Now the final news story for today. The ultimate master of quizzes is set to be decided by a global quiz-off. The first of its kind sees consistent winners from all online quizzes compete to win the coveted title of master of quizzes. We have two finalists on the phone with us here today. Well boys, how are you feeling? Are you excited? Yes, I am very excited. And that's just great. And what about you, Nathan? Nathan? Yeah, me too. Okay, great. So tell me a little bit about how you got into quizzing. Uh, I've never really done quizzes before this. I just, I've been practicing in lockdown and I guess I've like found my secret talent. I don't know. <laughs> it's been a passion of mine for a long time. I've been training for this for a long time. Five pub quizzes a week for five years. I pride myself on being the local master of quizzes and I am ready to become the global master. I see. And so tell me, do you have any strategies now approaching the final? Well, I can't give too much away, but I'm already preparing. Making sure my diet's right. Fantastic. Okay, and what about you, Nathan? Um, I've just really been like practicing like how to Google really fast so I can get the answers. Um, yeah. I see. Well, I think we might have unearthed a cheater here, ladies and gentlemen, but we will leave that to the quiz officials. Now over to sport with Obi Vincent. Thank you, Zach. Up first, it is big news for dancers out there. The Royal Ballet has decided that it is now accepting TikTok dancers as official auditions for the 2021 company. Who let the dog in the studio? We, we are done, Bear. We have Jasmine here now, who is one of the hopefuls. Hello Jasmine, so you are looking to get into the company? Yeah, I mean, I've been dancing seriously for like two weeks now, so I think this is a huge opportunity for me. I see, so what are you hoping the submission teams will see in you? You can see my skills in my TikTok videos. I mean, they've literally got hundreds of views, so I kind of specialize in like renegade or hip hop, but I can, I can do anything. Just, I don't know, just take some practice. And I think I can bring something different to the company. Yes, I'm sure you will. And we Apologies, we interrupt the sport with some breaking news. It has just been announced by the Word Bureau that Let's Zoom will be the latest addition to all dictionaries. 
This comes as a result of an 18 million percent increase in usage in just the last few weeks. Back to you with the rest of the sport. Well, this has been a topic of many a debates the past few weeks, and now we finally have an answer. Yes, the weights do miss us too. So I'm here with the weights now, and yes, yes, it does appear the weights do miss us as much as we miss them. Now, according to a bunch of weightologists in a number of gyms, it is in fact the smaller weights that miss us most, as these are not used to being put down and spending much time in the racks. However, Speaking to the treadmills earlier, it does appear they're staying positive as they said, we're just going to keep on moving. Back to you guys. Thank you for that, John. And now over to Nathan with the weather. Thanks, Obi. Now let's have a look at the weather near you. In the Russia, very cold, very grey. We like it. Dude, in California, man, it's like blue skies, clear air, all right. I, dust in Germany, it's very nice, yeah, it's good. Oh, crikey, mate. It's pretty hot here in Oz, but it should be sweet. Uh, in Paris, is, uh, the sun is shining, uh, the birds are singing, it's, how uh, you say, uh, magnifique. Thanks for that, Nathan. And that concludes our segment today. So be sure to tune in tomorrow, same time, same place, for your daily dose of Gymshark's good news news. And remember, it ain't what you lift, it's the way you lift it. And we will not tolerate half reps. I'm Zach Perna. I'm Zach Perna. I'm Zach Perna. Zach Perna I am. I'm sorry, my name is not Zach Perna, I am Siri. As always, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> We're only talking about the good stuff. <laughs> the bad news is, we'll be joined by my co-host, Nathan Mickey Callum, and Obi Vincent. <laughs> Wander no more, an official study has come out from the University of Matthew McConaughey that says that Murph is actually dead. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I just gave you guys just a bunch of random voices. And yes, today is Saturday and I'm absolutely lost in the world. <laughs> Sometimes you have to bark at your dogs when they bark at you.